I started painting half of the screen. The reason why I painted half the screen, where do, where's my stand? Half the screen because I really needed to be sure that that coating was going to bleed through and that there weren't going to be any complications and coating this in. Now, this is a different version of the 39. It's designed for outdoor applications. What the freak is my stand? Oh, I hate this. Oh, I took it downstairs for Mother George. Anyway, this application we developed for ourselves because, as I told you before, if I got to paint these giant screens, I really don't want to be doing two applications of primer and then the screen itself because it's a lot of work painting big screens. So I needed something that was going to take extremely fast. So we engineered a different version of 39. This is for us for painting these screens in. Oh, there it is right there. Mother George. I can't walk the entire house just to come back in and here it is right there because usually I have but this time we did it a little bit differently with this coating I only got to hit the screen one time and I'm done because you've been doing a 250 inch or whatever size I'm doing for someone that means I got to come in dry the screen hit it again dry the screen hit it again and then go back over it again with our technology which is just too much work if you're doing about hopefully I only want to do about five a day honestly to tell you the truth honestly I only want to do five a day when it gets to a point where I got to do more than that I'm hiring somebody so this is the first half when you paint this screens, we got to do them in halves we got to do one half, get it right under the edge, then come back and dry it, come back and do the other half. They're all done in halves and halves.
that. You can see over here, but I can bring guys back and forth. I'm just trying to get this done. Through nicely, that's good. That's exactly what we wanted. That means one coat application from now on. Makes my job a lot easier. All right, so we're going to do the fan trick where we tie the fan up on the end of the grommets, let the air flow underneath the top of the screen, the bottom and the top at the same time. If you lay the fan down, or well, we're painting these anyway, but if you decide to do one yourself, if you lay the fan down. What's going to happen is only the top layer is going to dry, the bottom is still going to remain wet. That's going to take a lot of time for the air to seep through the screen and hit the bottom. But we put the fan at the bottom, we tape it up, we'll tie it, actually we tie it on the handle, air will flow in through the bottom, dry the screen at the top at the same time. Dry it a whole lot faster. What we got to do is come back down for part two, bring the screen down, and finish the other end, and we're done. That's it. Okay. We got a lot more paint left over. Where is the lid? It's way over there, as always. I guess I'll pass right across the room. something to anchor the fans move it the fan for this
these are the pre-coated screens we're going to start doing. Put this one right here, the fan in between here and here. Let's see what we're doing here. So we're going to put the fan in right there. Plugging in, bird. What's going to happen is it starts to rise, my screen is going to start to lift up. So you got air hitting the bottom and the top, and it allow the bottom to dry. The bottom is saturated, soaking wet. I just want to take the longest to dry, but by doing it this way, you can dry the bottom quickly and the top at the same time. I gotta order me another fan for that side over there, but this will do it for right now. So when I come back down, this will be fully dried. And then um we got another fan here. We can put this one over there. As it starts to dry, it's gonna lift up a little bit more each time. As it starts to dry. All right. Well, there's com oh not completion yet, but almost near 200 inch screen. When we're done, we'll get the other half done. Did I put my lid back on my paint. Yeah, I did. And that's it. I rather prefer when it comes to a screen like that to roll it in. If I was spraying it. People have to understand when you spray a screen, you got the spray on applications. Well, that's a big screen. 120 inch screen, the blast is nothing. 100 inch is nothing to blast. But a 200 inch screen, that's a lot of painting. My roll on application goes on much faster. Much, much faster. And if you want something bigger than the 9 inch rollers, they make them in 12s. All right, with that being said, hope you enjoyed the demonstration. I'm going to sit down and relax because I'm so tired from this morning. And um, I'll see y'all later on. Got to go and God bless.